This video is sponsored by Randa Hope. Stick around to see how you can join the character design contest with a prize pool of $8,000. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at an updated version of the MB Labs. So previously, when we talked about this, this was existing on a website, which currently is offline. And a lot of you guys have asked about this. And right now, for you to be able to get it, you will need to go over to the GitHub repository, which you can use to download it. The current version of the MB Lab tool is 1.8.1 and is currently available for anyone to work with as it's an open source tool to start creating stuff. And one cool thing with this tool is you can simply generate characters fully rigged and you can use them for literally anything that you want. So with that said, for us to get started, you need to download it, go over to Blender, go over to Edit, go over to Preference and install the add-on. And with the add-on simply installed, all you need to do to get going is to launch and start up a new character. And with this character opened, the rest of the things that you need to do has to do with playing with the parameters to get everything in shape. Now, this is an updated video of something that we've covered previously. So a couple of things to keep in mind is there are the character ages, which you can use to play with the character age. And this is quite interesting. There's also the character mass, which you can also use to play with the character. Say, for example, you would like the character to be slightly leaner. Probably you want it to be a bit more fluffier. You've got that. You can also choose to tone your character. So these parameters come in very handy, especially if you like to define your character shape. And within the character setup, right over here, we also have the character library. Now within the character library, we can choose to select what character that we want. So you've got different kinds of character types that you can simply pick from. And this is one quick way for you to start creating any kind of character whatsoever. Within the random section, you can choose to randomize a couple of things. Say maybe, for example, you would like to randomize the mass, the height, the tone, the body, all of these are there. So once you have those selected, you can also choose what kind of engine that you want over right here where we've got the engine. So once you've got that, you can hit on generate and that would automatically generate you a new looking character. So it is more or less a quick, nice looking tool that you can use to generate characters really, really easily. You've also got the rest pose, you've got the body measurement, which you can use to measure certain things. So if you like to measure your character, depending on what you like to do, this is currently available for you to do that too. Within the skin editor, you can also choose to play with the skin of your character. So for this, we're going to switch over to rendering, put up a couple of lights just to make the scene look pretty cool. And we can start playing with the hue, saturation, the value, the freckles, the bump, blush, and all that. So this just simply gives you more like the necessary tools that you need to start making your characters. And the cool thing with these are all of the characters that you have here are fully rigged. So you can just make the character switch into animation and start animating them. You've also got a couple of nice and interesting stuff like the display options. You've got some stuff for like the file tools and also finalizing tools. And all of these tools all come together to help you create your characters quickly. There's also another interesting tool that is right here, which has to do with the auto modeling. And this gives you options of doing some nicer stuff. So within the auto modeling, you can choose to automatically do some modeling features which is inside of there and uh, this is also something right which you can choose to play with so all of these are now available and you can simply start creating your characters quickly easily faster with this open source tool that is currently available right here on this website and once you're done making these characters you can start polishing them to get the finest of things that you want so whether you're thinking about using this for your sculpting your animation or probably you're into posing characters and doing some photoshop retouching with them this comes fully handy and once you're done you can choose to share this on your social media platforms or you can simply share this with a wider community right here on render hub and with that said let's talk about our sponsors render hub render hub is an amazing marketplace where you can download and purchase lots of interesting things so whether you're a character designer or probably you're into creating amazing 3d art render hub has a home for you with tons and tons of assets that you can get and lots of creators doing the most right here so if you're looking for an amazing place where you can get some impressive 3d characters follow up with some interesting artists, build your own portfolio or sell your own 3D art, then RenderHub has a home for you. As it also offers a collection of compatible DCC apps, 
3D model categories and a plethora of 3D sections that you would find super useful. And speaking about things that you might find super useful, for those who like to join the character design contest by the folks at RenderHub, then this is an amazing opportunity for you to do so, as the folks at RenderHub are doing an amazing contest which will be running from August the 1st till September the 30th of 2024. This comes with a prize pool of $8,000, terms and conditions simply apply, with a first place prize of $3,000, second place prize of $2,000, third place of $1,000, and an honorable mention cash payment of $250. And for those who like to join this, or probably you'd like to see some of the deliverables, the deadlines, some winner's announcement, and all that, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, and of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.